So this is what you get. It's just us. There's no one else. <laughs> Literally just no one us. else is showing up. <laughs> So today our client is Kelsey. She is nine months pregnant. This is her home. Um, she actually did a bunch of DIYs in her space. And then a pipe burst. Water was like literally raining it's indoors like from the down. ceiling. The whole ceiling falls down. And Jesse and I are like watching her share this on her stories. She's nine months pregnant. Like she wants to have a home, home birth, birth. She's in this space, in this exact room. And it's like filled with drywall. In so I send Jesse the post and she's like, I think we should go fix that. And I was like, I think we should too. So like the craziest of timelines, the tightest of schedules were like, you know what? Like she's poured her heart into so many DIYs that she lost. Like she deserves to have us come in and just give her her dream space as fast as we can. So that's why we're here. We're here to totally get that space done, finished, mm -hmm. safe. Like we're gonna go with this into shape, like on the tightest of timelines before this baby comes. And if the baby comes, I guess I'm like super that's excited. Your yeah, <laughs> I will catch a baby. <laughs> the space had to be skeletoned, so ripped all the way down to the studs and then re sheetrocked. Kelsey and her husband were able to get the new floors installed and a coat of our favorite white paint on the walls. So we're walking into a blank canvas, and we have four days to make this empty space a dream suite. So we are walking in on a completely blank slate today. Yeah, but now's when the fun happens. We have our perfect canvas. We can walk in to do. have, yeah, a beautiful design plan. And I'm so excited to give her her dream space. dream space. And that really gets my adrenaline going. I try to think of how we are possibly going to do all of this in this amount of time. <laughs> We wanted Kelsey's room to feel like a retreat with tons of texture and muted pops of color. We plan to add additional lighting and turn the arch nook into a work from home office space, complete with a built-in desk and a shelf for storage. <laughs> hey guys. So when we get started, this, right now, this baby's that. coming. <laughs> time to head inside and check out Kelsey's space for the very first time in person. Looking good, right? Looking so good. That window is so much better in person mm -hmm. than in the pictures. It looks so good. The ceiling is fixed. There's a ceiling. I'm so excited. There's a ceiling. It and looks then. good. No water. No pipes are out. Nice and dry. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, you guys. So we just got to Kelsey's, and we are picking the paint color. So this is my big hack. I do not pick color from the tiny little index cards they give you at the paint store. You paint up really big poster board size pieces. Then when you're like putting it against the wall, you can actually see what you're working with. So once we get this paint color picked, we can get this wall painted, start adding trim. Accent wall is coming first. So we taped our samples up to the wall one at a time with painter's tape and used some of the elements we were incorporating in the room to make our decision. Did we get it? <laughs> We have a winner. A winner. Ocean swell. It's gonna look so good with those. The first part of the project is this amazing accent wall. With the paint color selected, Jesse and I headed to Home Depot to grab some paint. Tune in to part two to see how we DIY this trim accent wall. We share pro tips for how to make it go faster, plus how we got plans made so we didn't have to do any math. We'll see you in part two. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the big reveal. Spoiler alert, you'll be blown away.